What is up you guys, it's Kati Volks. Welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to my kitchen. Once again, it's been a while, I feel like since we've done a recipe. So yes, today we are going to, well, attempt some mini protein donuts, I guess. Um, I don't have like one of those regular size donut trays, I just have like the miniature one. So I decided we'll use these. I found like a recipe and I've tweaked it up so it says it makes six regular so I'm guessing it'll make double so maybe 12 of these little guys and so I'll calculate the macro and stuff for it and we'll figure out and hopefully makes that amount if I'm making any sense at all so moving forward we are going to talk about the ingredients so starting with protein I'm gonna be using my Modus chocolate protein because this is currently my favorite protein. I'll link it down below if you want to buy it yourself as well. For flour, the recipe I saw used coconut flour, but to make it a little more carb and add a bit to the protein, we're gonna be using oat flour. I'm just gonna grind up some of my own like gluten-free oats. So you can use whatever flour you choose to use, but I just feel like it was an oat flour because it has a little more protein and actually makes it a little less carbs than coconut flour. Also, of course, to make this vegan, we are going to need an egg replacer. I'm just going to be using the neat egg, but you can use ground chia seeds or ground flax seeds and it's the same thing because if you look at the back of this, it's made of chia seeds and garbanzo beans. So you just need some kind of binder for the recipe. Then to add a little sweetness to it as well, I'm going to use this sweet leaf sugar leaf. It's a mix of cane sugar and stevia so that you get half the amount of regular sugar. So yeah, these guys do have a little bit of sweetener. You can use a complete artificial sweetener if you want, like a worth of toll or something so that you don't add any more carbs or calories. But come on, I'm making donuts here. We gotta make them a little sweet. And of course, to enhance that chocolate flavor, I'm gonna add some cocoa powder. Then we're gonna add pumpkin puree, just a little bit. Coconut oil, this is like my own touch. And we'll need some baking soda, not baking powder, and a little bit of vanilla extract. So let's get to the mixing. Oh wait, one last thing. Some type of plant-based milk. I'm gonna be using just cashew milk. So first we gotta prepare our egg, and the recipe requires two eggs. So whatever is equivalent to two eggs, which is like one tablespoon is one egg, so two tablespoons. So next we are going to combine all the dry ingredients. So I have one third cup of the oat flour, so I just ground up the oats. I'm gonna add that to my bowl. I'm gonna then do 50 grams of whichever protein powder you are going to use. Make sure it's chocolate if you're doing, you know, chocolate donuts for this one. So my modus, I'm gonna measure out 50 grams of this. And then of course, whatever sugar substitute you might be using and then the baking soda and then just whisk them all together. Oh, and of course we're gonna add the cocoa powder. Even though honestly, the chocolate protein powder smells so chocolatey that it's you don't need to add it, but say you're using another brand of protein powder and it's not quite as chocolatey, add this in. This one's just like a specialty dark Hershey's chocolate. Um, it's Dutch processor. No, this is cocoa pressed with alkali, whatever that means. You can use whatever cocoa powder you plan on. This is what I got, because I was at Vons. So, to each their own. So there it is, all whisked together. And then next, and now the wet ingredients, which is gonna be our egg, which is all bound up together. Milk, coconut oil, pumpkin puree, two tablespoons of this, and a little bit of vanilla extract. So three fourths cup of whatever milk you are going to use. One tablespoon of this, two tablespoons, as I said that, of the pumpkin puree. So to make sure that we distribute all of the batter evenly, into the donut tray. I'm gonna be piping it in one of these reusable bags. You can always use a Ziploc bag, cut off the tip. And if you don't have a second set of hands to help you pour it in, pro tip, get a mason jar, and then 
just put the bag in there and boom. Got my tray, non-stick spray. Back to, and then, oh, let me, just wanna make sure they're all evenly coated. I wanna get this perfect. Yeah. Here they are, and they are going into the oven. It is set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and they're gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes, or when the toothpick goes, you know, cleanly out of it. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, there we go. real quick and then we'll close out and I'm gonna go eat another one all right guys so those donuts turned out so good that I really hope you try out the recipe for yourselves because I was like amazed the chocolate flavor in the modus protein so good like if you use a different chocolate protein and it's not as chocolatey as this stuff is then probably use more cocoa powder I would recommend so that you get that rich chocolatiness but it really, this recipe didn't even really need the cocoa powder because this protein powder alone is just so so good so if you do want to give this a try I will link it down below and now I have a coupon code because they are my favorite absolute favorite so please go give them a try maybe I'll do a giveaway of this protein powder sometime in the future otherwise if you enjoyed this recipe give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more recipes protein stuff. If you have recommendations, comment that below. Otherwise, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.